I was born in London and we left London when I was 10 months old. But my brother Daryl was born in the United States and was five years younger than I was. Whenever he got annoyed with me, he would make the point that he could be president of the United States and I couldn't. But that if I was nice to him, he would make me secretary of state. This is Daryl at seven. It was a weekend and my dad and Daryl and my cousin Stephen and I, we were walking to McDonald's, maybe 10 blocks, 12 blocks from our house. In Phoenix, you might drive to it. And so, you know, that would have been a good idea in retrospect, but we walked. There was a 23-year-old guy who had been drinking and decided to drive and veered off of the street and hit us. My father and Daryl were hit directly. Eyewitnesses described my brother I mean, actually sailing through the air. I mean, hit, I mean, it's small, small kid. I mean, my father was hit head on too. A few days after he came out of the coma, he suddenly remembered he had a son, Byron. And so that's when they had me come in to see him. And it was when he was talking to me that he suddenly remembered Daryl <laughs> and asked, you know, and asked, where's Daryl? My dad discovered he had a son. Less than a minute before he discovered he had lost his son all over again. It was very hard. My mother was in the caretaker mode, and yet she needed so much care. There wasn't all that much I could do to help my mother. First of all, I was trying not to be an extra burden to her. I had a lot of people uh, in my hospital room all the time. Like there were, you know, 20 people from school. At first, everyone was so solemn. No one could smile until I made a joke, basically, is how it worked. I mean, I didn't want everybody to be so serious around me. So I focused on the things I was doing. We'd had student body elections for the next year, so my hospital room became politics central. I actually got out of the hospital on crutches in time for the next wave of student council elections two weeks later. I ended up going to grad school in Oxford, did a master's degree and then a PhD in economics. I met my wife there, and we named our old son Daryl after his uncle. You have to make meaning in your life because if you just look at the life and say, I just have to accept it. Uh, that, at least that doesn't work for me. You have to make the meaning. You have to decide what your life is going to mean. Who's doing Eastern Kentucky? Is that a um, sign? Yes. I think the idea of option B as putting to one side the tragedy you've had, the loss you've had. Your tragedy is option A. Your plan is option B the sort of things that people would worry about at work, in business, in government. I don't worry about those things. I don't worry about, well, what if we try to do this big thing and it doesn't work? Sort of like, okay, what if it doesn't work? What happens? Is anyone gonna die? Because if no one's gonna die, maybe we still have a problem, but let's just, you know, figure it out.